Are the early adopters taking a risk, having upgraded to Windows 10, or are they reaping the benefits and enjoying a more stable experience? Windows 10, to the majority, was and is a free upgrade, which introduced a much tidier user experience. Although Windows hasn't implemented radical changes, there are alterations to the operating system that was much needed. Windows 10 is a lightweight operating system when compared to its predecessors, Windows 7 and 8. It starts up quicker and mostly runs with fewer hiccups. We also see much more integration with being online all the time, having your settings, background and other miscellaneous features synced across all devices running Windows 10. You even have a virtual assistant, however it seems South Africa has been revoked from the right of having anyone help you. Straight off the bat, you are greeted with a new and more desirable UI. The taskbar has been refurbished and even the Windows key behaves differently and has a rather aesthetically appealing look to it. The changes are subtle but at the same time completely redefines the skin of Windows. A more minimalistic and flat design is consistent throughout the whole operating system. Behind the scenes lurking in the infrastructure, there has also been some modifications made. Windows Defender protects your device from any malicious or snooping suspects. Now you can ditch some of those free third-party antivirus softwares preoccupying your resources. Windows 10 is a great experience. Nothing fancy and nothing over the top. Microsoft seems to be bringing together all its platforms in a one go-to hub, where you can enjoy media, play games, or get to the nitty-gritty work. The most notable change is the way your resources are handled by Windows 10, and the cosmetic changes made. You don't have the cumbersome application drawer we had in Windows 8. It's much more desktop friendly and generally performs better. 